Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're looking at something a little bit different. Recently, Rockstar added this car, the Albany Brigham, to GTA Online. Of course, it is based on the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from the movies. Now, in the past, I have made lots of videos um, about movie cars that are already in GTA Online, and there's a continuing list of that. But I've also made videos about movie cars that aren't in GTA 5 yet. A long time ago, this is actually my YouTube page right here. You can see I made a video, it's called Five Movie Cars That Need To Be Added In GTA Online. And you can see the vehicle that I used on the thumbnail was in fact the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And this got me thinking, let's have a little look through some of these videos that I've made of vehicles that I have predicted in the past. Um, or vehicles that I have wanted to be added and see how many of them have now actually been added All right, here we go. This is the first video. This is the top five movie cars that need to be in GTA online number five the James Bond I think that was supposed to be 007 and it said 700 um, But yes, the Aston Martin DB5 has been in the game actually since launch um, It's the debauchy um, something or other, I can't remember the name of it, but we do have it in GTA Online, um, but I wanted a weaponized version of it, which they did go ahead and add. The JB700W was the weaponized version. Nice car. Let's skip to the next one. The BF Roach, Herbie the Beetle. It's not called the BF Roach in GTA Online, but uh, it's called the Weevil, I think. And you can get a Herbie-esque livery for this one. So yeah, we have got Herbie in GT Online. Let's go to number three. We got the Vanishing Point 70 Challenger. We've also got this one in GT Online. They added um, in the movie. It's just a generic um, Dodge Challenger painted in white. But it's a really, really cool movie. And it's a really, really cool car. Which they did add to GT Online. It's called the Bravado Gauntlet classic this is really testing my car knowledge today so we did get that one so so far we're three for three dom's dodge charger daytona um so that is the real movie car there um the one we had of course it's the gauntlet classic custom the benny's version which you can sort of make into a daytona it's supposed to be a daytona and you can make it kind of look like dom's charger unfortunately you can't get the glass sort of um headlights like this it has pop-up headlights like the real car does the last one we had here was the ecto-1 and i actually said in this video it could have an up and atomizer as an upgradable feature so like you got the up and atomizer gun which is like the boopy gun for those of you who uh who know about that one and i thought it'd be quite cool if you could get that on top of a car as like a weapon and i thought the per the perfect car for that would be like the ghostbusters ecto-1 and there it is obviously and obviously as i said at the start of the video the whole reason i decided to make this video we have just recently got the ghostbusters ecto-1 so there we go so looking at some of the other videos that I've got on here, um, we did a Weenie C Classic Showcase. Obviously my real car in real life is a Classic Mini. I'm sure those of you who've been with the channel for a while will know that. Um, so I was really happy that they sort of added my car to GTA Online. Um, but we've got 20 vehicles from GTA San Andreas that need to be in GTA Online. So let's have a little click on that and have a little look. Uh, let's skip ahead a little bit so muscle cars first of all we've got the clover um we don't have this one in gta online yet but never know there's a possibility that it might get added in the future so let's continue what's the next car we've got the buffalo now we do have a buffalo um obviously franklin's car and we have the buffalo stx which is like the uh, Dodge Charger sort of Hellcat um, but I'd really like to see one of these like older uh, Buffaloes the one from San Andreas and you can see a photo of it there it is different to the one that we have in G 
Duty Online. So some of the names of these vehicles are the same as ones that we have, um, but the actual vehicle model is different. Again, we've got another example of that, the Phoenix here. We already have the Phoenix in GTA Online, but it doesn't look like this. This is a different version of the Phoenix, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, you're gonna see that quite a lot with the San Andreas ones. Obviously, the Saddler, another example. We have a Saddler in GTA Online. It's a newer version, but it'd be nice to see this like old 70s, 80s model from GTA San Andreas. And of course, we've recently just got the Walton. It's like the Walton L55 or something like that. I can't remember all the names of the vehicles, but it'd be really cool to get like an old Walton like this. Kind of looks like the Rat Loader slightly. We got the Oceanic 61 Dodge Dart. Um, that is a really, really cool vehicle. And they've been adding more vehicles like that recently. We've recently just had the... Um, I uh, can't remember, it's like the Buick thing. I'll put a picture on the screen so you all know what I'm talking about. Again, I can't remember all the names of the vehicles, um, but the Oceanic would be a perfect one. I've seen uh, mods for this. The Savannah, really, really cool vehicle. That would be an awesome addition to GTA Online. Let's skip to the next one. Oh, we've got the Windsor. Okay, so we have a new version of the Windsor. Um, but it would be nice to see an old version of the Windsor, obviously based on the E-Type Jaguar. And it would be cool. We sort of got the, um, I think it was the D-Type Jaguar. Um, it's like an older race car and it had the like Union Jack livery on. But it would be quite cool to see a proper E-Type like this because we don't really have that one yet. Of course, the Bullet from GTA San Andreas, the Bullet Classic. Uh, we have the bullet in game now, but I've been wanting a sort of old GT40 for a long, long time. Then we go on to tuner cars. We've got the club. We've got the club in GT Online. Doesn't really look like this. Um, I think it's like a different version of it. Obviously, Mark 1 Golf. Um, so we've kind of got that one. The Euros. We have got a vehicle called the Euros, but it doesn't look like this. This is sort of like a Fair Lady Z, the twin turbo, or like a, a, a ZX, you know, with the, the passive rear wheel steering and all that. Um, so it'd be nice to see a version of that. We got the Uranus. This is a GTA San Andreas Uranus. We had a GTA 4 Uranus, which is like a Fox body Mustang slash... Um, RS Cosworth 500 like mashed together um, So that'll be a cool vehicle the ZR 350 we have got that one in GT online So there there is one <laughs> Off this list that we have got the Sunrise um, Not actually sure what the Sunrise is based off. I want to say like a Nissan Silvia or something like that um, so we've got that one off-road vehicles next. We got the Bandito now obviously the Bandito in GTA online Is like a little remote control car. So they'd call it something different. We already have the um, Like June buggy that kind of looks like this um, not the Not the like the beetle June buggy, but the actual like long June buggy like you can find in Shandy, Sandy Shores So they probably wouldn't add that one the Patriot We've got this one, the Patriot Classic, of course, and we've also got the Mammoth Squaddy. Um, so these are both kind of variants of the Patriot. So I'm going to say that we have got that one. Um, the next one we've got here is the Sand King. Um, so obviously we have a Sand King in GTA Online. It does not look like this, though. Uh, but we recently got the um, Monstrosity, which I'm going to say that's what this pretty much is it's like a mitsubishi off-road i don't actually know the real name for it it's not really a car that i care for very much but it looks like this it has the spoiler like this so i'm gonna say we have that one in gt online all right so some of these other lists are quite small so um we've got four vehicles from gta 4 that we want in gta online so let's have a little look at that there's five cars that were featured in GT4 that need to be in GTA Online. So the first one is the Invetero Coquette. 
um, obviously a C5 Corvette, I believe. Um, this was a very, very popular vehicle in GTA 4 and everybody wants it in GTA 5. So this one could be added even in the next DLC, who knows. But yes, that is a highly popular one. We also have the PMP 600 based on a Chrysler 300, for those of you who don't know. Already mentioned the Vapid Uranus. Everybody wants this vehicle because it was super, super fun to drive. It looks really cool. It had quite a lot of cool tuning parts. You could get like the Cosworth style wing on the back. Another really, really cool vehicle. It looks very generic, sort of Japanese car, but it would be awesome if this had like loads of tuning parts like skirts and bumpers and stuff. Obviously it has pop-up headlights, which are really, really cool. And finally, we got the De Classe Rancher. We kind of got this one in the form of the Yosemite Rancher. Um, it has a lot of the upgrades that I can see, like the lights on the back, it had bull bars, you could add the arch extensions and stuff. So I'm gonna say that we have already got this one. The next video we've got here is the GT Online Casino DLC top 15 car prediction. I'm gonna wind it through because it's me talking for most of it. So the first car we have is the Jaguar I-Pace. We don't have that one in GT Online. I'm quite surprised to be honest that we don't have that one. Uh, so we might see that in the future. Next we've got the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. We've got that one in GT Online. Uh, that's like Franklin's car from the um, like agency um, DLC. I can't remember the name of the DLC, but it's the one like where you do the thing with uh, Dr. Dre and Franklin and stuff. This is like Franklin's car, so that's quite cool. The Maserati Levante, uh, we have got that one in GT Online. Again, cannot remember the name of it. Um, I'll put a picture on screen to prove that we have got the vehicles in GT Online. So yeah, we've got that one. The Bentley Bentayga. We don't actually have that one in GT Online. We've got vehicles similar to it, obviously like the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, um, very similar. But yeah, I can see that one maybe being added in the future. The Bugatti Devo. Um, obviously, we've got the Thrax in GT Online. So we do have the Devo. I'm actually having to think now which ones we have and haven't got. Um, the McLaren Speedtail, we haven't got that one. I'm surprised they haven't added this one because it would be a really, really cool vehicle. Uh, the BMW i3, um, this is a little hatchback, a little compact, um, fully electric as well. Um, classic cars, next. We have the Bentley T1, on the left here, or the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. You can see from the photo there, they're basically the same car underneath. Um, we've got like the um, old Silver Cloud, uh, which I can't remember the name of again in GTA Online. I'll have a photo on screen so you know what I'm talking about, but it'd be quite cool to have like a 70s Rolls-Royce or Bentley like this. Next, we've got the BMW M1. It's like an old supercar from the 80s. It's like the only sort of supercar that BMW really made. And it looks really cool. It has pop-up headlights. It's in like Forza Horizon and stuff like that. You've probably all seen this vehicle before, but I'm really surprised we don't have this one in GTA Online. Next, we have the Ferrari 308. Um, I really want this vehicle in GT Online because I'm a big fan of Magnum PI. Um, we've got some older Ferraris, but it'd be nice to have something like this that's maybe like a bit more sporty because they're a bit more like classic um, supercars. You know, like we've got the F40 and things like that. So it'd be nice to have like a sports car. Next, we've got the Cadillac Eldorado. Now we have just had the Albany Brigham added um which of course is like a, an estate version or a wagon version it's actually a hearse uh, that's what that car the ecto one is um so it is possible that we might see a saloon version of the brigham it might even be called the brigham saloon or the brigham two-door or something like that so yeah all they'd have to do really is take 
the sort of make the back end take the front end of the brigham and slap it on so that wouldn't be too much work i don't think so that is a high possibility that we'll see that one in the future right let's go to a little bit of a newer video uh, this one's from 2021 so it's still two years ago um, but I think this was the last DLC prediction I did. So this was for the summer DLC in 2021. So let's have a quick look on here at uh, what vehicles we have. So number one, we've got the Koningsegg Jumeirah. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we have got quite a lot of Koningsegg vehicles in GT Online. The Bugatti Bolid. Now we've already got the Thrax. We've already got the... Um, adder which was based on the uh veyron and of course we have um i can never remember the name of the middle one between those it's like the fat veyron um so we know that they like adding bugatti vehicles i could highly see them adding a bullied in the future but they haven't added it yet we got a clean version of the ZR380. We actually did get that one. That was the Euros. So another big tick rock star. You added that vehicle. We got the 2020 Mark V Supra. Uh, we do have that one. I cannot remember the name of it in GT Online. Again, I will have a photo of it so you know the vehicle I'm talking about and proof that it is in GT Online. It doesn't have this crazy Rocket Bunny kit on it, but it is in GT Online, so can't complain too much. Next, we have the Chevrolet Camaro Exorcist. Now, I don't know if it was fully based on the Exorcist. It was kind of a mishmash of other vehicles, but we did get the Vigero ZX, I think it's called. Um, again, I'll have a photo of it on screen to prove that we do have that vehicle. Um, but yeah. I'm going to say that they did add that one. Next, we've got kind of a quirky one, but it's a very iconic car. Um, that is the Citroen 2CV. Now, there's not a lot of games that actually have the 2CV in. So I play a lot of racing games, and none of them that I play that I can think of have a 2CV in it. Um, obviously, it's a very iconic little French like cult car and it'd be perfect for GT Online. If this had some like crazy customization, people would love it. We've got the Pond Bug, technically not a movie car, it's from a TV series, but the Grand Tour. We've had quite a few Top Gear and Grand Tour vehicles added to GT Online, and I'm always a big fan of amphibious cars, so cars that can drive on land and on water. We have got a few of those in GT Online already, so we know that Rockstar are happy to add them. And the Pond Bug would be really cool. It's a three-wheeler, which people love, um, it has these weird looking lights, which I'm sure Rockstar could make pop-up headlights for them. Uh, so possibly have pop-up headlights. And of course, it is based on the Pond Bug from the Grand Tour. So people will love this vehicle. So I'd love to see that one added. And uh, that's actually it for this list. Um, I've got loads of these videos on my channel where I've done like um, concept uh, DLCs and obviously like concept cars that would fit with the theme of that video um, I've done DLC predictions before uh, DLCs come out I guess this is kind of a DLC prediction because the previous DLC has just ended we got the last drip feed which was the Brigham and um, of course in a couple of weeks we should be getting a new DLC for the holiday season so yeah, you could treat this as my DLC predictions for the next DLC, I guess. But I wanted to look at some of the vehicles that I have predicted in the past that Rockstar have added to prove that Rockstar do actually listen to us. So making videos like this are really useful for them because they are actually watching them. They are actually listening to the viewers what they want. So if you have any DLC car predictions or suggestions, drop them in the comments. Hopefully Rockstar might see this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video though. If you have, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. We do videos like this all the time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>